Another type of transcendental functions are the logarithmic functions. A logarithmic function of the form y equals the logarithm of x to the base b is the inverse of the exponential function x equals b raised to y where b is a positive number not equal to 1. For example, 2 raised to the third power equals 8 when written using logarithm is the log of 8 to the base 2 equals 3. Hence, the logarithm of 81 to the base 3 is 4, since 3 raised to the 4th power is equal to 81. An expression that is written without a base, such as logarithm of 100, is equivalent to the log of 100 to the base 10. Whereas, the expression ln x has base e. This is called as the natural logarithm, which is the inverse of the function f of x equals e raised to the x power. Now, how do we find their limits? What is the limit of the logarithm of x to the base 6 as x approaches to positive infinity? To evaluate the limit of the given function, we substitute some values for x, replacing x with some values which are written in increasing order we can see that the values of the function has an increasing trend also. Hence, we say that the limit of the logarithm of x to the base 6 as x approaches to positive infinity is positive infinity. Looking at the graph of the function, this confirms our answer that the limit of x to the base 6 as x approaches to positive infinity is really positive infinity. Notice that the limit of the logarithm of x to the base 6 as x approaches 0 from the right is negative infinity since the value of the function decreases without bound as x approaches 0 from the right. What about if we are asked to find the limits of the logarithm of x to the base e as x approaches 0 from the right? We say that if the base is e, that is equivalent to the natural logarithm x. Thus, we can also have the limits of ln x as x approaches 0 from the right. Now we'll list some values for x that is approaching to 0 then we will see that the value of the function has a decreasing trend. Hence, the limit of ln x as x approaches 0 from the right, or the limit of the logarithm of x to the base e as x approaches 0 from the right, is negative infinity. Now we confirm using the graph of ln x. Looking at the graph, we can see that as the value of x approaches 0 from the right, the graph decreases without bound. Hence, the limit of the logarithm of x to the base e as x approaches 0 from the right is negative infinity. On the other hand, the limit of the logarithm of x to the base e as x approaches positive infinity is positive infinity. This time, let's find out the trend when b is between 0 and 1. Find the limits of the logarithm of x to the base 1 half as x approaches positive infinity. Replacing x with some values which are written in increasing order, we can see that the value of the function has a decreasing trend. Hence, we say that the limit of the logarithm of x to the base 1 half as x approaches positive infinity is negative infinity. Confirming with the graph of the logarithm of x to the base 1 half, the graph 
decreases without bound as x approaches positive infinity. On the other hand, notice that the limit of the logarithm of x is base 1 half. As x approaches 0 from the right, is positive infinity. To summarize the properties of the limits of the logarithmic functions, remember that when b is greater than 1, the limits of the logarithm of x to the base b as x approaches positive infinity is positive infinity, whereas the limit of the logarithm of x to the base b as x approaches 0 from the right is negative infinity. These properties are also true to the limits of the natural logarithm ln x. Whereas if b is greater than 0 but less than 1, the limits of the logarithm of x to the base b as x approaches positive infinity is negative infinity. And the limit of the logarithm of x to the base b as x approaches 0 from the right is positive infinity.